<laughs> temperatures are in the low 80s for this afternoon and for Friday. This is close to 10 degrees above what's considered normal this time of the year. So if you're going to be spending some time outside and you're thinking mm, it feels a little bit warm. Yeah, it, it is warm, especially for uh, early April. Upper 70s expected over the weekend on Eclipse Day Monday, high near 80 degrees, but also looking at the potential for some cloud cover. And here's the rain potential. So Eclipse Day Monday kind of falls in between two systems. The good news is that the first system gets out of here really quick. That'll happen Saturday night. The second system, it does help bring in rain late Monday into Monday night. If that system advances a little bit faster, that means more cloud cover for us here locally. The other good news that I have is that we're not looking at a big threat for severe weather Saturday night. The higher threat looks to stay in Oklahoma. Meanwhile, we are looking at just some added cloud cover, so it'll stay dry most of Saturday, but then Saturday night, I'm going to stop the clock here around 10 PM. We start to see these thunderstorms develop and move into western North Texas. We're talking Wise, Parker County. At this point, we could see some locally heavy rainfall and some gusty winds, but it looks like it makes it into the Metroplex and out between between midnight and one in the morning. After that, it starts to dry out and we should see most of the activity completely out of Texas by around seven in the morning on Sunday. North Texas will then see the sunshine. We'll see a, a sunny day on Sunday. I'm going to fast forward now to Monday because that's when we are all asking right about the cloud cover. So this is Sunday going into Monday. Look at how clear it is. I've drawn on here the map of totality, the tr uh, track of totality. Center line is where we could see the highest amount of totality. OK, so this is Monday around 7 in the morning. Look at this. This particular model actually has it clear to start the day on Monday. But as the morning progresses, we'll see some high cloud cover move in. It's not a big deal if it's high cloud cover. The uh, Totality will still be able to be viewed if we have some high thin clouds, you just may not see the corona of the sun. But however, I'm going to stop the clock here Monday around one. If we see some of this dense cloud cover that's going to be in central and in southeast Texas, hurry up and move into north Texas early afternoon, it will limit our vi uh, visibility of the total solar eclipse on Monday. So between one and two, as long as the low cloud cover kind of hangs out to the south, we should be pretty good. The good news is that the rain does look like it stays to the southeast until after uh, totality. At this point, we could see some strong to severe storms right now. Monday evening into Monday night looks like we could see some of those strong storms, so that could impact anyone that's traveling back home after being in North Texas for the eclipse. So just something to look ahead to. We are going to see temperatures pretty much staying in the 70s early next week. The unsettled pattern continues through middle part of next week. We'll be back.